What's good, Internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to RimWorld, the colony building simulator. As always, full disclosure, this copy of the game was provided to me by the publisher. That being said, uh, I always plan to try to play a bunch of this before I come back for a video each week, and I feel like I always get about a half an hour in before something goes terribly wrong. This is the kind of game where it is the stories that you tell, the attachment to the characters. So as I go to load game here, you can see my save file here that says Shieldville 10, no fire. Uh, that's kind of important. We're gonna load up Shieldville 9 because there totally is uh, a bit of an accident happened and I will explain what happened to me last night uh, as I was trying to prep for a new video today. So I will immediately pause here. Immediately. And you will see there's a fire. So how could this happen? I hear you ask. If you look here at Ute here, he is uh, not doing great. He got burns. A lot of burns. So, in this game, uh, on this planet, and I don't know why Seth Rollins is healthy and cloud watching in the middle of a fucking fire. What are you doing, Seth? Um, basically, here, here's, here's what went down. There is a creature in this game called the Boom Rat. And as I told Ute, who obviously is not part of the shield, I don't really care about Ute, I was like, Ute, go get us some food. We're, we've been low on food for a while now. We've needed food. And I said, you know, go go get some food. Go do some hunting. Because obviously, if he gets m mauled by a bear, no big loss. Uh, and I'm like, I didn't make the connection that the word boom rat is literally, you attack that rat, that rat goes boom. So you can see here, boom rat, dead. I killed it, uh, and it exploded, and that was a fire. And I am not advanced enough in this game to be able to take out the fire. So I very certainly will end up rolling back to that previous save file with no fire and going from there. But I did want to unpause it here and see how this plays out. I don't know how far it's going to spread. Like, you would think my house here, you know, is that's, that's steel. That's solid steel walls, literally. So that, that should be fine. Uh, but I'm going to unpause it here and see how this fire goes. Now, uh, I had Dean Ambrose here was hunting this turkey because we do need food. Like, we're low on food, uh, even though uh, I would have hoped that... Hold on, let me pause again here. Uh, I've, I've been trying to get them to put this, the, the, the food that was in here, like this food here that, that, that spoils, because it's not refrigerated, in this area over here where this damn cougar uh, hangs out for some reason, uh, where I installed an air conditioner that is set on uh, 1C, which is about 33 degrees, so it should be keeping this whole area cool, and if you put food in there, it should refrigerate. But so far, no one's done that. Uh, and that's driving me absolutely fucking crazy, so I'm gonna guess uh, that if I go to Architect here, if I go to Zone, Zone Area, and I pick this Zone Area, and I delete it, then this will be the only stockpile zone, and hopefully they'll move this stuff from this here over into here. The problem is, or at least my problem, is I only want food in here, and I haven't seen any way to only designate food in a stockpile zone. So, we still got fire, we got, uh, Ute needs treatment, we've got low food, low medicine, and I don't know where Dean Ambrose is going. Uh, did he kill that turkey? He did. Okay, so he's gonna go... He's gonna... What are you doing? Dean! Is he peeing on it? He's vomiting. Why are you vomiting on the fire? Um... That's... What? You killed that turkey, uh... But you didn't actually... Hold on, let's go here and do a bill here. Uh, butcher creature. Do it. Do it X times. So... He's gonna go here and treat you here, who is covered in burns. This damn cougar is just wants to hang out in the nice cool air, which is obnoxious. I, I don't want to hunt the cougar because I feel like I'm t t totally going to maul my people here. The fire is just spreading. I don't have any way to handle this fire. Um, Seth is punching it. He's beating it out. Stop beating off the fire, Seth. It's way too much fire. That's not going to work. Uh, Roman is turning some berries into a meal. And hopefully he'll put that meal into the damn ref refrigerated area. That'd be nice. Uh, that's where it should go. And it will hopefully keep longer. 
uh, as Dean here. Yes, go in there. Hopefully that cougar could, continues to remain uh, calm. Okay, so finally, here's the problem. That cougar could totally eat that meal, and then it'd just be gone. So that, that, that might happen here. Occasionally the animals will do that. Um, so I'm going to hope that Roman goes here and uh, gets this turkey. And then butchers it? No? Where, where are you going, Roman? I don't know what else I, I assigned. I honestly can't recall. There were some berries that I wanted picked. Alright, yes, these here. These these needed to be harvested because um, they will spoil. This fire is just spreading farther and farther. Seth is in the middle of it. Ute's doing something here. Um, he's also beating the fire out. Uh, I don't know what happens when it gets to the house. I don't, don't know what happens when it, when it gets to this fucking corpse that is still sitting here uh, that, you know, att attempted to in invade Shieldville last episode. Yes, that cougar totally ate that fucking food. Aw, oh, I hate you. You know what? Since I'm not going to save this save file, since I'm, I'm going to just go back to the other save file, um, how about you guys hunt this fucking cougar? Because it ate my food that I was trying to keep well and refrigerated for um, a couple of days. So, what the shit? You know? Hanging out in my goddamn refrigerator... There's still mining to be done here, but Seth, what are you doing that's not the immediate concern? So, you can't really control what these assholes walking through the fire. Good job, Roman. Alright, Dean's getting that turkey. Uh, I'm hoping that fire won't fuck up my house. But I don't actually know, so that's, that's kind, of what I'm kind of what I'm curious about. So I'm going to actually increase the speed here. So we get things done a little bit faster in this episode, so I'm not going to save this uh, nonsense. Um, so yeah, he's going to keep on putting food in there. And then, oh god, what's, oh god, oh, hold on, hold on. What is those? What? Muffalo. Muffalo and uh, the barkeep mercenary gunner. And I'm getting invaded here, but no one seems to know what the fuck's going on. There's just, and now Dean's in here shooting this cougar, which is not attacking him yet, thank god. I don't think he's hit it yet. Um, oh, now he's getting, uh, cougar revenge happened. And now Dean's getting bit by, bit by a cougar, and that's going to be the end of Dean Ambrose. And this wild boar's on fire. Seth Rollins just being all fucking calm about it. Dean Ambrose got eaten. Dean Ambrose is gone. He's... No? Yeah, no, he's... He's cowering. Where did Dean Ambrose go? Alright, no. He's, 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 he's not dead. Um, who has a question mark over their head? What, what do you want to know, Valkyrie? How do I talk to you? How do I... It says you can talk to a with trade, and I don't know what. Has, critical alert! This is all very critical. Why are there these like they were, they were hunting the buffalo? Or this is all that cougar is pissed. It's injured, but it's pissed. Um, yeah, this is all going real, real bad. Which is why I wanted to stop and make this video to show you guys. How fucking uh, out of control shit can get. Uh, I don't think Dean Ambrose is dead because, yeah, he's just hanging out right here. He's cowering. Um, and nobody else seems interested in doing anything right now. I don't... I don't know. Like, who are... The, MJ and Justin and Chili. And, like, they want to talk, but I haven't figured out how to do it yet. Alright, Dean Ambrose is dead. He's he's down. He's not dead. He's 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 downed. Did I kill the cougar? It was a rat meat. Simple meat. Somebody go. No, he's not dead because that that cougar is attacking Roman Reigns now. Run, Roman, run. No, this is all. Is there? That, 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 what the fuck? What is even? Yeah, I definitely am gonna reload the other save file because this is all now. Roman's down. So moral of the story. Uh, there should be a way to, to build that thing and not leave that goddamn cougar in my nicely refrigerated uh, place. Because that was kind of the whole point. Now it's getting all foggy out, and I don't know... You, yeah, fight. Help him out, Seth. Help out Justin. Credible. Help him out. Now Seth's like, nope, not doing it. Now Seth is cowering. This cougar is just, uh, you know, doing what a cougar does. Um... And this fire is mostly staying where it was, but it's still kind of getting a little bit out of control. Um, Valkyrie died. Uh, 
I don't know how she died, but she died. We're taking her food. I don't fucking know. Hey, take her food. Colonist needs rescue. Fire. Seth is sleeping. How can you sleep like this, Seth? Dean and Roman are just down. They're just down. Uh, and I don't know how you deal with that. Uh, we have low food, low medicine. Uh, everybody died. And thankfully the cougar is in shock, which is good. Uh, only Seth Rollins and Ute are remaining here. The rain! Oh! The rain uh, is saving our asses, but I'm not going to stay on, on, on this save file because that, that would not be what I wanted to do because that all went real, real bad. So, my goal when I, when I load up my no fire save file is going to be to uh, somehow get rid of that cougar if I can and not die while doing it uh, because I don't want that cougar in here eating up all my goddamn food, uh, which is going to be nicely refrigerated. And I don't know how else you keep animals out of your, you know, places, because it seems like the door is just open for them. So, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, that being said, uh, you've seen just a little bit of how chaotic and insane RimWorld can get. Uh, I'm going to hopefully play some more, make some actual progress, and be back next weekend, or it could all go to shit. I don't know. Anyway, I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. This is Rim World. I'm still really enjoying it because it is just, uh, like, you have stories like that you tell people and they go, what kind of fucking game is that? It's a crazy game. Thanks for watching. More videos every day. And I'll see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out!